sometimes I'll kind of like it's it's uh, everything's a story we're telling ourselves. What story are you telling yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So each of, each of my fights has a narrative. Like example, the Costa fight, right? The narrative from in my head was like, Fuck this. He reminds me of all the. I used to pick on me in high school, yeah. and he was like the quintessential jock, mm-hmm. and the way he was acting as well fitted the, fitted the um the you know the the role. So I was yeah. just kind of like, guy, I'm gonna take him, out. I'm gonna take him out. And the first Whitaker fight, the way he was, you know, like he was getting real cheeky and smirky, like that. He was like that cool. At, at the I remember at the the press conference before the fight, um, he we were in Melbourne in his backyard, and he was like that that kid just like talking shit and had his posse, the whole crowd kind of like huh, hemming it up and all that kind of shit. Yeah, and I was like, F- these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's and too comfy. Exactly, too yeah, comfy. Yeah, yeah. This time he was quite respectful humble and just humble and yeah. respectful about because I whooped his ass, so exactly. he had nothing to say. So yeah. the cost of fight was crazy because like people were like I said, he looks like that, that quintessential. Was great. Co- Great. You know what I mean? Yeah, the way he great. looks, yeah. he looks like a Hollywood dude, muscles and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So I'm like, the skinny boy is gonna, the skinny clown. I you love like that to you say. call yourself the skinny kid. I am. 200 pounds, <laughs> six yeah. four. That's so crazy. Like you're, you're I am a skinny. dominant human being <laughs> on 99 percent of the planet. Yeah. There's one big juiced up Brazilian guy that makes you look skinny. Yeah. And I was like, I right, bet. Watch this. 